been a few months since I was able to sit down and film a video for you, but today I have a lot of new stuff that I've been using over the summer that I haven't shown you yet on camera that I really love. So I'm gonna just do a look today with all those things that I've been using. So to start off, I started trying the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Water Foundation. It's an SPF 30, I'm just gonna shake it up and it's one of the more liquidy serum type foundations. So I'm gonna just squeeze a little bit out onto the back of my hand and use my buffing brush to work it on. And I've been loving this throughout the summer because it's kind of a sheer to buildable, almost medium coverage foundation, but it has SPF 30, so really good for daytime wear, and a really nice skin-like finish. My skin really takes to it well, so it looks pretty natural. And I'm using the color medium. So while that settles, I'm gonna move on and do my brows. Still using my Brow Wiz in caramel. So for eye makeup this summer, I've really only had two things in my makeup bag that I use for eyeshadow at all, and that was the Clinique Chubby Stick in Fuller Fudge, which I love is just an all over wash, and then the Bobbi Brown Telluride Palette, which is a really pretty kind of purpley, rosy palette with a really nice range of colors. So I always start off and I do a base with my Chubby Stick. So I'm just gonna kind of scribble it all across the lids, and I don't even use any eyeshadow primer when I use this because it's a cream product that sets to like a long wearing finish. So work quickly with it and I like to blend it with my fingers. I think that's kind of the easiest way to get it nice and smooth and even. You can also use a synthetic brush. I'm just building it up in a couple of layers. I'm just going to take it a little higher into the crease so I'm, while I'm looking straight ahead into my mirror I'm just going to dash a little bit very lightly onto the skin just on that outer corner and then use my finger to blend it in. Just soften the edges. Okay, now going into my Bobbi Brown palette, the Telluride palette, I'm going to take this mid-tone kind of nice warm peachy pinky rosy brown. So I'm just going to use that into the crease, just kind of windshield wiper motions back and forth just to kind of soften the edge of that chubby stick crayon into the rest of the eye makeup. So just to kind of smooth it over and blend. Now I'm just going to take a small detail brush and I'm going to grab this sparkly brown. It's like a bronze with a little bit of pink shimmer in it and I'm just gonna dip my brush into it, tap off the excess, and then I'm gonna pat it on just to the outer corner of my lid. Now, there's two shadows in this palette, these two center ones that have a lot more glitter in them than the other colors, so just be careful when you're working with them because you kind of fluff them all around. You're gonna get glitter particles landing all over your face. So when you use them, use small brushes and just kind of pat where you wanna place it and then just carefully blend the edges, just so you're not making a huge mess. Oh, and I just realized these colors do have names. So this one that I just used, the dark brown, is called Velvet Plum. And now I'm gonna go into this one, which is Blazing Star, just a very glittery gold. And really, I'm only using my finger to press across the top and just pick up that top layer of glitter. And the glitter particles in this color are kind of a gold and a pink. So I'm just gonna press it across. I actually think it might be the same color that's in her Surf and Sand palette from last year. I think I used it in like a holiday time tutorial. I love it. It's such a pretty glitter. So I'm just going to press that all across the lid and it sticks really nicely to that chubby stick that we had laid earlier because that's a cream product. Okay, to add a little definition to the lower lash line, I'm gonna use uh, my Marc Jacobs eyeliner and the color is Jazzberry. These are really great and long wearing and waterproof, so really nice in the waterline um, and on the lower lash line in gen general. So I'm just gonna wiggle between my 
actual lash hairs on the bottom and I'm just gonna go a third of the way in. So I'm just gonna kind of work it in. And this is a really pretty, very pinky plum and I think that looks nice with the glitter flex that I put on the top lid because there's a little bit of pink and gold in there. So I'm gonna go back to that small accent brush I used earlier with nothing on it and I'm just gonna soften that little bit of liner that I wiggled into the lashes. I'm just gonna mirror that same liner placement on the top, so just a third of the way in on those upper lashes. So just really close, just to kind of accentuate the outer corner of the eye. And I'll just soften it over with a small brush. Now I'm gonna do some under eye concealer. I have like a jar on my vanity that has all my pencils, cream, eyeshadow sticks, and I have a lot of um, concealer pens. So this one I haven't used in a long time, but it's the YSL Radiant Touch Concealer. So it's like a click up one. And it's the color number three. So it's a very peachy tinted under eye concealer. So it's great for any of that like blue, ashy darkness that you get around the eye area. And then taking a fluffier brush just to blend it in, just nice and soft, and going all the way into the inner corner. That's where I find I get a lot of, of that shadowy darkness right along the bridge of the nose. So just softly blend that in, and I'm just using the concealer to kind of sharpen up the edge of the eye makeup too. So while we're concealing under the eyes, I'm just going to add a little bit more concealer around the face where I need it, but I'm going to switch to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This concealer is a little bit um, more coverage than the YSL. The YSL is a little bit more of a light reflecting and this one's a little bit more medium coverage. So I'm just going to hit a couple spots and around my nose because it's a little warm in here when I film with the lights on and everything, so I always get a little bit more red. Okay, for lashes, I'm just going to give them a little curl and some mascara. This is the CoverGirl Lash Exact, which I believe has been discontinued. I had stockpiled a few of the last ones that I saw at my Harman, and I'm still working on those, but I'm pretty sure this one's out of stores now. Okay, on to the next cool thing that I discovered this summer, which is some new lashes. These are called Picky Lashes, and this is their, their classic style. And I love these individual lashes because finally someone came out with individual lashes that aren't just flares or three in a row. They have really interesting shaped individual pieces, and they've been really nice for brides and especially mothers of the bride and people who want a little bit more natural look because they're they're actually pretty short. I'd say they're comparable to the short length of like an Ardell flare. Um, so they're really natural, but they're just unique. So I'm gonna put some on for you. Okay, so that's just three of those pieces on the outer corner of each eye. Now I'll move on to cheeks. I've been back on my Stila Convertible Color Kick. So I've been using Petunia this summer, and I take a little on my finger and then just dab it onto my cheek and blend it in with a clean finger. And then it, use your foundation brush to kind of smooth the edges if you feel like you did a little too much or you want to contain it a little bit more. So I'm going to use some bronzer now. I got a sample, I don't know if this is sample size, but they sent it to me when I ordered some of my skincare stuff from Paula's Choice, as you know I love. And this is her Sun Kiss Custom Color Bronzer. It's like a split bronzer, two colors. Um, I think it's matte. Yeah, it's totally matte. They're nice. I've been using it just because it's been around and it came for free, so why not? I 
And then for lips, I'm going to use another product that I got as a sample from being a beauty insider. It's one of the NARS lip crayons. So I'm just going to give that a try. Oh, it's a really pretty color. It's basically almost the same shade as my lips are naturally. It's a nice balm texture too. So that's the finished look with all the products that I have been loving over the summer that I haven't been able to show you for a few months because I've been so busy with wedding season. But hopefully I'll be able to get back into the groove of things and get some more videos out to you a little bit more regularly. So thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!